Let us look at how to use API with Stackby and how to integrate API with your workspace. Click on the Connect to API option on your workspace. There you can see all the different categories that are available. These are the different services that are currently supported on the platform and there's always more coming. As an example, let us see how we can work with the YouTube API. Click on Integrate. Select the workspace you want to connect to. Now you need to add your API key. To get your API key, you need to access your Google's Developer Console. Log into the Google's Developer Console and create credentials. Within credentials, the API key can be created. Once created, copy that key. Go to the library and search for the YouTube Data API. Choose the YouTube Data API and make sure that the API is enabled. If not, then click on the Enable API. Now you can copy your API key. And finally, add your API key and give it a name. Here we have already created an example database or example stack of YouTube video tracking. Imagine you are doing video production where you want to get the status of all the live columns. Filter out the statuses which say live. Add a new column and connect to an API or service. Name the column YouTube API. Choose the service provider, in this case, YouTube. In select an API from your account, enter the API key that you just added. Select what function you want to use, in this case, the video details. Then select the ID column for the reference, which in this case is YouTube Video ID. For every single API, you will need to give a reference column. It would be an ID for Facebook ads and view ID for Google Analytics. Once you apply this, it calls the data. You click on this data and it opens the data explorer in your JSON and brings all the information of that particular video, the title, description, all the text that have been added, the duration of the video, the status of it, and the statistics. So based on the information you would like to see in the columns, you can select them to create their columns, like if you want to bring the title, the description of the video along with their view, like, dislike, and comment count. Select them and then create these six columns. The six columns have been added. If you want to bring in the latest information, just click refresh. It will change information in the real time. Truly mind-blowing, isn't it?